this. Someone's made a slight mistake. About $2,500,000 worth. That's no mistake. I sent it. It's good publicity, and besides, it ensures our credit at the hotel. <laughs> a poor man hasn't got a chance with us. A suck I don't deserve one, and a sport always takes a chance. Come on, honey. Put on your pretty pretties while Mama goes bye-bye to find something for baby to play with. is familiar. Oh, yes? Yes, somewhere I've come in close contact with it. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably in a railroad wreck. No, I don't think in a railroad wreck. You know, I've never really been in any real good railroad wreck. Once I, once I see a face, I never forget it. Well, I've been wearing this one for a long time. Would you, uh, care for a peanut? No, thanks. They get in my bridge work. You know, I don't care for peanuts either. I just carry them around for the sound effects. I like to break them open. I don't know why it is I'm simply fascinated by the crunching sound of a peanut breaking between my fingers. And the exercise is so good for you. Oh, uh, wait just a minute. Please don't go. Sit down, let's have a chat. Let's uh, talk about something else interesting. Horses, for example. I wouldn't have a horse, for example, or for a gift. I bet you don't know who I am. I bet I do. Paul Revere. That's funny. I, I have been mistaken for Paul Revere. Guess again. Listen, big boy, this is no guessing game. Who are you? I'm Colonel Joy of Kentucky. No. And I own the finest stable of racing horses in the country. I own 20 head of them. Of course, I own their bodies, too. That's just an expression we horsemen have. this hotel. His name is Smith. Smith? Smith. Smith, you know, I knew a fellow by the name of Smith once. He was a veterinary that I called in. What's the matter? Were you sick? Oh, no. This was for one of my horses. Oh. An interesting fellow, this Dr. Smith. You know, he made a fortune just grabbing up old horses and putting them on an 18-day diet and then afterwards selling them for ponies. Okay, Colonel. You hold my horse till I get back. We're from the evening well. We'd like to speak to Mr. Smith. We have two Mrs. Smith stopping here. Which one do you want? Well, we would like to interview the Mr. Smith that invented that new drink called uh, Rush. Just a moment, please. Operator, room 503, please. Hello? Just a moment, please. I beg your pardon, sir, but there are some newspaper men in the lobby who are anxious to interview you. Are you in? I came here to get away from interviews and publicity. Tell them I'm out. Yes, sir. I'm very sorry, but uh, Mr. Smith is terribly busy and will not be able to see you today at all. It is impossible. Yes, 
They seem very anxious for an interview, sir. I wish they'd leave me alone. Just because I discovered some foolish drink that the public went crazy over, they want to take pictures of me. But you made millions overnight. They want to know how you did it. I don't know how I did it. What are you trying to do? Now listen, you do exactly as I say. He's coming this way now. You stand here and watch me. I'll be sitting over there. When he gets close enough, I'll wave my handkerchief and you faint and fall in his arms, you understand? Yes, but what'll I faint from? Anything, like a money or fallen arches, faint, that's all. Anything you say. All right, here he comes. Now faint and leave the rest to me. I'm leaving it all to you. Do you know her? Yes, she's a friend of mine. I'll take charge of the body. I mean... No, I, I think we should take her upstairs. Oh, no, she'll be all right. She has these fainting spells all the time. They're good for her. It's inherited. Yeah, but this is serious. I think we'd better take her to her room. All right, bring the body in. Put over there. Put over there. No, no, you're all right. Just relax. Thank you. It's good to have strong arms to hold you. And it's good of you to faint in them. You know, I feel much better already. So do I. I feel so dizzy. Oh, well, take it easy. Feeling better? Oh, I'm much better now, thank you. Just take it easy now. Rest. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Just take it easy now. Rest. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Feel better? Oh, fine, thank you. Good. I think it was my heart. You have much trouble with your heart? Oh, not much. Just occasionally. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you're feeling better. <coughs> Here, give her a shot of this. This will straighten her out. That's just what she needs. Here, just but one I, teaspoon. I, I feel so much... How do you feel? I feel pretty good, thank you. <clears throat> How do you feel? Just uh, a little more, that's it. One more teaspoonful. Must this go on? Just a little longer. Open wide. <laughs> that's it. Don't you think I've had enough? No, not quite. Uh, oh, dear. Speaking to me? No. Oh. Oh. Huh. Open wide. See, you feel much better. That's... I feel fine. Yeah. 